what it's asking us to do is define the zeros. Um, what I was talking about last class period was zeros is the same thing as your solutions, which is the same thing as your x-intercepts. So if you guys remember at the beginning of the year, what we simply need to do is set our f of x equal to 0. Okay. Now what we need to do is to solve this, we need to factor it down. Well, there's only a couple possibilities we could have. We could do 9x times x, or we could do 3x times 3x. Right? 3x times 3x gives you 9x squared, or 9x times x gives you 9x squared. Everybody agree with me? So there's only two options we're dealing with. Um, then what we need to do is figure out, well, for 2. 2 is either 2 and 1. So it's negative, so it's either negative 2 and 1 or 2 and negative 1. So you only have, two, you only have so many options, right? Now again, yes? You could do it that way. I'm doing it the factor way because I can do all this in my head. I'm kind of showing you my thinking process. So if you guys think about this, um, what we need to do is we need to multiply our inner and our outer, our inner and our outer, to combine to give us a difference of negative 3. So I got to think, well, think about this. Let's say I did this, plus 1 and negative 2. Ladies and gentlemen, if I do 9x nine, nine times negative 2 and 1 times x, is that going to give me a difference of negative 3? Do you guys kind of see without texting on your phone how crazy that is to put that there, right? And even if I put a 2 here and a 1 here, that's not going to give me a difference of 3 either when I multiply those. Does everybody agree with me? So I'm not even going to worry about this. Let's worry about this one. And again, let's just, well, actually, let's just try negative 2. Well, since I know my middle term has to be negative, let's do negative 2 and positive 1. This gives me negative 6x. This gives me 3x. Negative 6x plus 3x is negative 3x. There you go. There's my final answer. Now, though, or I'm sorry, my final factored form. Now, I have a factored form set equal to 0. And then you solve. OK? That is the fast way to do it. But you have to have practice. And you have to be willing to practice this. 